Hello YouTube and welcome to another Linux tutorial. So in this video I'm going to show you how to install root certificate or certificate authority in Linux. So are you ready? Let's get started. So as you can see here I'm connected to my uh, Ubuntu server actually which is an NTP server. Okay. So here the version I'm running actually it's Ubuntu 20.04 here we go so this is Ubuntu 20.04 okay and if I'm trying actually to download for example a file using kernel command for example I get this message SSL certificate problem enable to get local issuer certificate so actually this is problem is due to that my Ubuntu server is behind a firewall that is doing SSL inspection okay so I need actually to get the certificate authority from our firewall which is in this case Sophos firewall and install it in my Ubuntu server in order to resolve this problem okay so the first thing is of course to install the certificate in Linux but we have to download it from our firewall okay so if I log on to my actually firewall here in order to download certificate so in my case I have to go actually to certificate section here and the certificate authority and here you can see that I can actually download this certificate authority which is called security appliance SSL certificate authority okay so me I already downloaded the certificate so here as you can see on my desktop it's called sophos.pem okay so this certificate actually it's the one that I need to install on my Linux server okay so let's first import it to the file system of my Linux and for that I can use whatever program uh, you like so me I'm using a graphical user interface of the command scopy which is called winscopy so it's free you can download it from the internet so let's open it here we go and here simply you will choose the SFTP protocol and of course you have to input the IP address of your uh, server so in my case it's 192.168.1.90 and of course here I'll provide credentials in order to connect to my Ubuntu server okay so let's log on and see what we get here we go I am on the root or slash root directory of my Ubuntu server okay so as I told you now all I have to do is to drag and drop the certificate which is sophos.pem okay so here we go so let's drag and drop it so now you can see the certificate has been actually transferred to my root directory of my Ubuntu server so let's verify that so here I am on this directory so if I shoot command print working directory I get the directory that I am in which is slash root so let's do list and indeed the sophos.pm certificate is there so now I have to install it on my Ubuntu server so how we can do that so the first thing that you have to do is you have actually to uh, convert this .pem certificate to uh, .crt okay because this is the format that we'll be using in order to install it on my Linux server so in order to convert this to the format needed which is .crt it's pretty simple we will use the open SSL command okay so the command that you can actually use is this one 
So this is the template for converting any .pem certificate to .crt. So here all I have to do is to replace this foo with the certificate name. So in my case it's Sophos. Okay. Here we go. So this command will allow me to convert the Sophos.pem as you can see here as an input to the Sophos.crt which is output. Okay. And of course I have to be on the same directory where the file resides. Okay, so let's execute this command. Here we go. And now if I do a list, you can see that actually I generated another uh, .crt certificate, which is certificate of authority. Okay. So now we can proceed with the commands in order to actually install this .crt certificate. Okay. So the first thing that we have to do is to create actually an extra directory, a special directory on our file system. So I'll use the command make directory in order to create this uh, directory which, which name is extra under the CA certificate. Okay, so it's a pretty simple command. So now we have created this extra directory. So all I have to do now is to copy this uh, .crt certificate to this directory. Okay. So the command that I will be using is so this is the command in order to copy this .sophos.crt file to this extra directory. So let's execute that. Here we go and let's verify it using the list command. So the directory is user local share CA certificate extra and indeed we have copied our sophos.crt certificate okay so next and final step is actually to add this file path that we have added here which is user local share CA certificate extra we have to add it to the CA certificates configuration file okay and in order to do that we have another command and this is the one command the last command that will allow us to install this sophos.crt certificate so let's execute this command and see what we get and here we have a package configuration so this package may install new certificate authority certificates when upgrading okay so here you have just to hit enter because we will actually trust this new certificate from certificate authorities okay and the next string screen this package install common CA certificate so here as you can see all the certificate has been uh, selected with this asterisk in front of them so all I have to do is to click on the tab in order to get to this OK button and hit enter and hopefully the certificate will be updated and will be installed and also the new one that we have actually added will also be configured in our CA certificate okay so now our certificate has been installed and trusted so hopefully now when we execute the first command that actually gives us an error will work so let's use the first command that I have did in order to test the SSL certificate and see if everything works and indeed you know now we don't have anymore the message of the SSL certificate problem so we have successfully installed our root certificate in Linux 
So that was just a brief video to show you how to install Certificate Authority in Linux using uh, any uh, Certificate Authority that you can get from external firewall or site. So if you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't uh, miss any further content. And if you have any suggestion for future video, drop them in the comment below. As always, I hope it has been informative for you, and I'd like to thank you for viewing. Bye bye!